Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk about doing too much of a good thing. So let's start out with toothbrushing. Probably most of the patients that I see for gum recession, let's call them our clean freaks. Their mouth can't be clean enough, so they brush and they brush and they brush thinking it's going to be healthy. Well, there's such a thing as too much brushing. And very frequently, if one's gum tissue is thin and you brush, you brush too often, you brush too hard, you brush too long for, or the toothbrush is too hard, you're going to actually abrade that tissue. You're going to cause gum recession. So too much brushing is one of the major causes of gum recession. Too much brushing, too frequently, too hard a brush, that sort of thing, especially if your gum tissue is thin. Also, if you're brushing and you're getting recession and you're using toothpaste, the toothpaste, almost all toothpastes have abrasive, and I've mentioned this before. I do not use toothpaste when I brush because there is an abrasiveness in, there's abrasive material in almost all toothpastes and that will cause notching or actually cutting away into the root of the tooth. So if you have some recession and the root is exposed, you're brushing with toothpaste that can cause notching or cutting away some of the tooth structure. And if you cut away too much, actually that tooth could fracture just like cutting a tree in the forest. My assistant Sue is right here. Let's take a picture of Sue because she's so beautiful. Hi. She ma what did you ask tell me about the water pick, Sue? If it's used incorrectly, if it's not used in the proper direction of the water flow going directly in between your teeth, if the water is actually aimed up at the gum or down into the gum, that can also cause damage. Right, particularly if your gums aren't healthy, if your gums are inflamed, that water pick can actually drive bacteria and infection deeper into the gum if you're infected and not using it properly. We do recommend a water pick, but we recommend it when the gums are healthy and to use it properly. So mouthwashes that contain alcohol possibly, alcohol can actually dry out your mouth and in some cases where teeth are, where tissues are tender and sensitive, it can actually cause irritation of the, of, of the tissue also. Didn't we talk about hydrogen peroxide too? Using hydrogen peroxide full strength is never a good idea. You always want to dilute it with some water. It can be too abrasive again on the gum tissue causing irritation. And also, people who gargle with hydrogen peroxide very regularly actually can kill so many bacteria, the good bacteria, that one gets what is called black, hairy tongue. It doesn't sound great, but it's not great. It's not really dangerous, but it's not a healthy situation because you're killing off the good bacteria, allowing fungus and bad bacteria to flourish, and you can get black, hairy tongue from overuse of hydrogen peroxide. Also, Sue is mentioning about flossing. Too aggressive of flossing. If it snaps up into the gum, it can also irritate the gum, causing it to swell, and then go ahead and causing it to recede. So you want to just do it very, very gently as you go through the contacts. Also, if you're flossing too often or improperly, you can injure the gum tissue, causing that gum tissue to shrink, causing black triangles or spaces between the teeth. And when you've got black triangles or spaces between the teeth, they're very, very hard to correct because at that point, there's usually no bone in those areas and so there's no blood supply to nourish the tissue that we try to bring up to cover the roots and fill the spaces as much as possible. Brushing is good, keeping your mouth healthy is critically important, but you can't overdo it. So just be really careful. We'd love to hear from you, questions, comments, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Make sure your mouth is healthy because if it's not, you can't be as healthy as you could be. Remember, healthy mouth is a healthier body. Take care. Have a great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.